All right, I guess this is the start of video number two. Uh, we left off last video, had the motor part, check ring gap, whatever. Um, so far, I kind of skipped ahead. Uh, I've been messing with some stuff today, but remember last video, whatever part that was, I have absolutely no idea at this point. The cam bearing in the middle of this thing spun. So I got a new set of cam bearings. I just threw them in today. Uh, made a nice installer tool at work. I had uh, had somebody at work make me the installer tool that fits this size because I was borrowing the uh, the actual piece that you know the main installer tool from my neighbor there but that was for a small block Chevy so cam bearings were a different size so he made me up a new installer piece that goes inside this bearing and can slide in and out so slap the new bearings in today and luckily that one in there you can't see it but in the middle there that cam bearing actually went in tight I didn't even have to lock tighter or anything I was worried it might be a little too grooved up to really grab on that thing good but it's perfectly fine the bearing went in tight it's it's not like it went in way too easy so that's good. I got all new cam bearings in here. So that's a step forward right there. Got all my uh, rods and pistons. Throw them back in the block. Uh, these are already all torqued down. So the standard spec for doing these is... So you do 15 foot-pounds first. So you just both of them down to 15 keeps the cap centered and then these are torqued to yield bolts but we reuse them anyways it's fine then you torque these to 50 50 foot pounds or around 50 anywhere from 48 to about 52 is is good on these i just went dead on 50 so this is all good i started throwing my back cover on uh We'll probably just start doing time lapse. I mean, right now, those are all good to go. So, next step is throwing on my windage tray here. So, I'll get this on because I want to get this on and my oil pump and my uh, whatever the, the pickup. I got to clean out the pan because there's some metal shavings in there from the spun cam bearing. But I'll clean that guy out, and then I want to get the pan on first. So tighten the pan down first, so this is it's flat to this, and then I'm going to tighten all the bolts for this back cover because this cover can kind of move up and down a little bit on the bolts. The rear main seal keeps it centered pretty close, but pan. Then I can tighten those up, but oil pump pickup, windage tray pan rear cover and after we get the oil pump you know, all that stuff on then i'm gonna do uh i think i'm gonna flip it back over do the heads first get the heads done i already scraped the top of the block so i'm gonna find some spray sealer type stuff uh i don't have any of the copper right now but flip it back over probably scrape the heads off clean the head gaskets off be all nice and dandy and then we'll do the cam and do throw in the push rods get the uh yeah get the, the rocker arm assemblies on and i think that'll be it so i'll probably just start time lapse now i guess and then if i have any issues we get more video but i mean everything's pretty straightforward from here on out it's kind of just slap it back together it's it's what it is i'll probably stop when we're gonna put the cam in because that's kind of thing cams in the box over there still all right right
Here we go. Oh boy. The impact comes back out. Record, but that was a good one. Back to the time lapse. Okay, end of the video. Basically, got long block assembled. I need to do a couple other stuff. Crank balancer's got to go back on. Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to put crank balancer back on because that's annoying to get off. Won't do that. I'm going to leave it like this for mock-up. Front cover has to come back off. Oil drain for the turbo is going in there. So, this video, we got the long block assembled. Everything's back on. Rocker, arm assembly everything all put back in we got that sloppy stage two installed with new cam bearings we're not supposed to talk about those those dangerous cam bearings we got that all assembled motors timed in you know reused head gaskets don't worry about it reused everything reused torque to yield hub bolts don't care they're torqued down two spec i clicked it it's all good so I mean, transmission's ready to go. Got to go get a junkyard, get some intake gaskets. I got to get a uh, cam position sensor since I broke that. Uh, whatever. Cheap, cheap. Get another one. Junkyard, cheap. Get a couple other sensors. OBD port. Uh, flex fuel connector. And I think we're good to go. End of the stuff. I actually ordered today for the whole project. I got transmission cooler lines. So transmission cooler with a fan and my fuel pump so we're moving along pretty quick here hopefully by the end of the weekend i'll have the four liter pulled out of the ranger and we'll be able to start mocking up the 5.3 in there seeing how stuff's gonna fit what i'm gonna have to modify you know whatever um get the intercooler piping maybe made up because i have to Cut all that stuff to what I want. Go drop it off at Travis's house. He's going to take all that stuff for me. So I don't have a million silicone couplers. Because I hate too many of them. So we'll... Yeah. Lots of progress coming up real quick. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And this is the first in our series of sloppy mechanics style builds. LF power. It's a good time. We're having, I'm having a lot of fun. Everybody else is gearing up to do builds. So make sure you thumbs up the video. It helps us out a lot. And, uh, you know, comments. If you're concerned with anything that I did here, you probably shouldn't be watching. But you can leave your comments anyways. I might read them. Whether or not I'll actually listen is a whole nother thing. But if it makes you feel better, go ahead and say it. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and we're going to see if it works. So, back to the thumbs up the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.